hello my youtube family thank you so much for clicking on this video i really appreciate my name is ini and you're watching parenting with ini just in case this is the first time you are stopping by here so now take the next step do me the honor and click on that subscribe button remember to turn on the notification bell i'll be so happy to welcome you to this amazing platform so sit back continue enjoying all my content because this is where i get to share my parenting experiences as well as give the platform to other parents to share their experiences as well so in today's video i want to be talking to you about ear piercing you know piercing your baby girl's ear okay i want to talk to you about that and how i successfully did that for my two baby girls you know so yeah so that's what i want to talk to you about in today's video so let's get straight into it so when is the right time to get your baby's ears pierced? According to me, I would tell you the as soon as, as possible. You know, when the baby is still very young, it is the right time to get their baby your, their ears pierced. Do not wait until they grow up, you know, to a bigger a bigger age before you pierce their ear because the more they grow, the more painful it is for you to for them for their ears to be pierced. So, the younger they are, the better. So, I will tell you as soon as possible where i was brought up um baby's ears would be pierced even before you take them out of the hospital after giving birth to them okay but it varies in different cultures and different um locality okay some places actually do not pierce the baby's ear right from the hospital some will tell you after six months some will tell you after one year so it depends on where you actually stay but for me i would recommend the younger they are the better because it will be less painful for it will still be painful but it will be less painful for them you know than when they grow up you know to bigger babies and down um, to be more painful for them at, at the last as at that time what do you need to get your baby's ears pierced now you need the basic things you know to get the baby's ears pierced of course you need earrings and i would recommend start earrings you know actually it is medically recommended when you're piercing your baby's ear get the start earrings okay the start earrings are the best okay and ensure you get the original because you see this is baby's their skin is their skin is very sensitive so you do not want to get your baby's skin or um, you know your baby infected because you've bought a fake earring so try to ensure that you, the earrings you're using is that and it is the original earring now the next thing that you need to look out for is now the surgical spirit you can use surgical spirit or you can use this gel there's this gel i don't know i hope you can see it very well so now this gel or the surgical spirit is what you need for the healing process because after the baby's ears has been pierced you need to keep applying surgical spirit and or this gel to that area so that it gets healed faster okay so those are the two things that you need and of course you need now the specialist who will help you pierce who will help you with piercing the baby's ear they don't normally use a machine to do that so reach out to a specialist you can find them in a pharmacy even in the hospital or clinics you know and they will definitely do that for you with the machine it's much easier with the machine okay so those are the basic things that you need you know to get your baby's ears pierced yes. now when it comes to the healing um, process you know after getting your baby's ears pierced there are a few things that you need to know okay that will make it much easier for the ear to heal faster okay now the first one i would like to let you know is that water shouldn't come in contact with that area you know one of the things that causes infection is the the fact that water gets into that area so avoid water in that area completely until the place is totally healed so when you're bathing your baby you don't have to make sure make sure that there's no water coming in contact with that area okay that is one thing that causes infection i actually did not know that and so one of my baby's ears actually got infected because when i was bathing her i apparently allowed water to get into that area it got infected it was swelling and blood was at some point coming out it wasn't a good scene at all to look at and so that's why i'm telling you avoid water in that area it will do good for your baby's ears to heal faster 
Another thing that you need to know is now the surgical spirit, you need to be applying it as often as possible, uh, most likely from in the mornings and in the evenings, okay? Just rub the surgical spirit in that area in the mornings and in the evenings. If you can do it morning, afternoon, evening, why not? It's still okay. So, but you need to apply it as frequent as possible so that the ears can get healed faster. The next thing you need to understand is that you don't have to remove the earrings, okay? When you are applying the surgical spirit, you don't have to remove the earring, clean it, and then put it back because that place is still healing. If you remove the earring, the, 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 the hole can actually get blocked, okay? So do not remove the earring. Just leave it the way it is, and all you do is get your cotton, cotton wool or cotton bud, you know, dip it inside your surgical spirit and just rub it around that area. That's all you need to do. It Repeat it morning evening or if you can morning afternoon evening for uh, a few days like three to five days and it will be totally healed avoid water from getting in contact with that area that is basically what you need and that's basically what i did my baby's ears was the way they, they got healed in less than a week actually yes so what i did after they got pierced i brought them back to the house um at first they, it, they, it was painful is it painful? Yes, it is painful. It is definitely painful. I remember my first baby cried more than my second baby. And that was because she was much older, you know, when her ear was being pierced than my youngest um, child, okay? So she cried more than my, my youngest child. She cried for almost 15 minutes, but my youngest child cried for like three minutes and that was it. I brought them home. They were still in pain. I, I remember they actually slept. <laughs> few minutes after they got home they actually just both went to sleep <laughs> they woke up they were a bit cranky that ho the whole of that that day so in the evening what i did was just apply the, the surgical spirit um to that area and then in the morning i did the same thing as well i did that for like three to five days and they got healed the the place got healed very, as soon as as possible though one of my babies had infected infection you know in one of the ears because when I took her back to the to the person, you know, who, who helped us with the ear, um, I was told it's because I allowed water to come in contact with that area. So what I did after I brought her back was just avoid water completely and the ear actually got healed. In less in few days, it was now okay. So that's basically what I did. That's why I'm sharing it with you. If you're considering piercing your baby's ear, please go ahead, get the earrings, get surgical spirit, or if you can afford this gel, why not? You can also use it if you can afford it. Why not? Yeah, get that and then take them to the specialist, someone who will help you pierce the ear. They will definitely do the piercing for you. When you bring them back, um, be patient with your baby because it can be very painful and uncomfortable, okay? So be patient with them as the, as the ear gets healed, okay? Um, now start applying the surgical spirit in that area as often as possible. Avoid water from getting into contact with that area and it will be healed in a few days, okay? So someone will ask me, is it right to pierce your baby's ear? I think the answer to that question lies totally on you as the parent, okay? It depends on what you believe, it depends on your culture, it depends on your conviction. According to me, I don't see anything wrong with piercing my baby girl's ear, so I definitely would recommend pierce your baby's ear according to me but now it is left for you as a parent to be able to detect and to be able to understand or to be able to you know what what's the word decide you know decide whether you really want to pierce your baby's ear or not and no one will no one will question you you know so do what you are convicted to do with your baby okay for me i don't think there's anything wrong with piercing my baby's ear i would gladly do it again and again okay thank you so much for watching this video i really really appreciate if you enjoyed watching this video please leave a thumbs up you know leave a comment in the comment section what do you think about ear piercing for your baby girls and have you pierced your baby's girl your baby girl's ear what was your experience like you know how was it for you just leave that in the comment section let's learn together okay now remember to subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not yet done so subscribe and turn on the notification bell my shout out for today goes to Rebecca Chanda and Daniel Chikwaza. Thank you so much, Rebecca and Daniel, for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Oh my goodness, I really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. To get a shout out from me, all you need to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and remember to turn on the notification bell. Also, 
be the first to comment on any of my videos and i will definitely shout you out in the next video thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video on thursday hopefully with a guest okay so stay tuned and expect more content from me until then stay positive always Thank you.